time for another unboxing, and it's a product that I usually don't talk about in this channel. As a lot of you have pointed out before, there is always a vape hanging out on my desk whenever I shoot b-roll of products. Yes, I vape, and no I don't do it just for the fad. I vape to deal with everyday stresses, and it's something that I've tried to kick the habit of before, but just haven't been able to completely. This is my vape. It's a very old Joytec EVIC VTC Mini that I bought way back 2014. My atomizer on it is the Geek Vape Zeus X Rebuildable Tank Atomizer, and my juice is the Viscosity White Nectar 6mg. As the faded and destroyed paint on the body suggests, this has been my setup for years now. I refuse to replace it with any more modern, snazzier units because it still works. I consider my vape as a tool, not as an accessory to flaunt. But back to the unboxing for today. The good people over at Cardinal Stick have sent their new product over, the Curb with a K. And they say that this can be an alternative if I ever need to roll with a smaller vape setup. Let's see if they're correct. Let's have it unboxed. So the Cardinal Stick Curve comes in a thin rectangular box that feels very fancy. There's some glossy print on the front, showing the KS logo and the Curve name. At the back, there are some identifying stickers and codes, and here we can see the color of the product they sent. Jet black. Alrighty. Let's get it opened up. As soon as we open up the box, we can see a welcome letter introducing this new product. On the back, it thanks you for switching to the cardinal stick, and it even has the hashtag quit smoking with a K. Under that, we see the product in the middle of the box. It looks rather fancy. Let's see the accessories first before taking out the curve. On the box on the left side, it contains 5 of the total 10 pods that come with the package. The flavors are printed on top of the box, and this one apparently has classic tobacco, mint, grape, taro, and pineapple. If you open up the box, the pods are in their own blister foil packaging for sanitary purposes. The pods are also labeled separately, so you know what flavor you're vaping. The other box has the remaining 5 of the pods, which has lemonade, blueberry, watermelon, cola, and lychee flavors. Interesting, I'd probably go for that blueberry flavor first. At the bottom of the package, there is also another box that apparently has the cardinal strap USB-C charger. Let's see what it looks like. And here it is. It's a lanyard style strap that has a rubber ring at the end where you can slip in your curve to bring with you on the go. And the best part about this strap is it's also a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. You just have to unclasp it from the main part of the lanyard to convert it into a cable. That's a genius solution, Cardinal Stick. Alright, that's everything inside the box. Let's get to the main item inside. So the Cardinal Stick Curve is a pen-type automatic draw vape stick that works with proprietary pre-filled non-rebuildable pods. It looks to be made with powder-coated aluminum. There is an LED indicator near the middle of the device. Apparently it also has vibration motors. We'll see later. There is a screen printed KS logo on one side, and we can see the USB-C charging port at the bottom, flanked by what seems to be contact points for something. The receptacle portion for the pod works via two contact points and two magnets to make sure that you always put in the pods the correct way. Let's bring out one of the pods to try it out. I'll take the blueberry flavor. pretty smooth. It's kind of weaker than what I'm used to, but you know, I'm using a custom RDA. So apparently, each pod holds 2ml of liquid. It depends on how much you vape on how long one pod will last. So yeah, that's it. I can't wait to try out the different flavors of the KS Curve. 
I'll be using this as my vape for the next few days, and I'll come back to you guys with a full review of this vape. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Cardinal Stick Curve Vape. Do you have any questions about it that you want to see answered in the full review? Comment it down below and I'll do my best to answer it. While you're there, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more straight to the point videos like this. My previous video was my unboxing and first impressions of the Wii Light WE9 RGB ring light. Have you seen it yet? Go watch it, it's pretty good. That's it, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.